darkness envelops the moonless night. One man's blade flashes like lightning, his spirit a raging storm. From the shadows, he cuts through the darkness. All right, everything looks good here. Ah, I am bored to tears out. Sorry, I just need you to take a little nap. Concealment talisman's damaged. Was there a magical barrier? Well, it got me this far. The talisman indicates I'm close. Now's my chance. of the Society of Salvation. As you are no doubt aware, our homeland is in great peril. Only we Westerners and the Society of Salvation can save it. Fortunately, I know where Soul Edge, the Sword of Salvation, lies. Oh? Then that means... The day we attain this great power is close at hand. But your assistance is needed. I, Juan Gabak, solemnly swear to make your dreams of salvation a reality. Now pray to the medium to lend us your strength. Spare nothing for the glory of our nation! for the fragments of Soul Edge. All who remain able-bodied shall help save this land. Kill and kill some more! Cleanse this land of filth! You sure do love a spectacle. What will you do if a high-ranking Westerner catches wind of this? Relax. My magic is keeping us hidden. No one will find us here. Though it would seem someone has found us. Who's there? Oh, it's only you. You hardly qualify as high-ranking. But, threat or not, you won't leave this place alive. Prepare to die! Guess I have to fight. Oh, <laughs> 
You can wield talismans as well as you can a sword. You're either working for a monk or are one yourself. No matter, your talisman magic is no match for the great Gabak. Flash of flame, scorching land, howling inferno at my command. Manifest and come to my aid. His spells are powerful, but I can handle them. Now, with my conflagration spell keeping you at bay, it's time... Roaring Wind! Ah, it burns! Why, you... Gotcha. Farewell. He was good. I see now it was the fragments he was after. Shame on you, Sword of Cursed Flames. You know I can't fight well here. Apologies, Princess. Things will go more smoothly next time. At least, they should. It's fine. I must admit I'm enjoying myself. I've returned, Royal Inspector. There's no need for titles. I've been retired for some time now. Please, call me Su Hyun. So, how did it go? I wrapped the fragments in talismans as you instructed. There are three in total. With these, I believe I have atoned for my past. Indeed, fine work. I will excise these fragments and prepare them for the Mirror of Evil's Bane in these ruins. And the talismans I provided you were useful? Very. They'll no doubt help me contend with those fiends. I see. Then it may finally be time for you to venture west. Here, take these new talismans. I'm afraid there aren't many. I am no expert in talisman magic, so imbuing them with profound power is bone-breaking work. Even the convenient ones take time to prepare. Thank you very much. I'll put these to good use. Do not use them with reckless abandon, particularly the Talisman of Iron Will. That talisman temporarily affords you a great deal of power, but the stronger the adept, the more it takes. Given your skills, it will no doubt dream you of your life. You would do well to remember that, Huang Song Gyeong. After all, you have already died once before. I haven't been back to Jirisan in some time now. Was it here they wanted me to wait? It was also many moons ago that I brought Mina here to master. I wonder if she's still as scrappy as she's always been. isn't the esteemed Sir Huang Song Byung. And for whom might you be waiting? Oh, I was told to wait here for... Hmm. <laughs> Mina! You sounded like a completely different person. <laughs> Caught you off guard, huh? You wouldn't be the first to act so surprised. Come on, we can catch up while we walk.
So, I guess you've been keeping up with your studies? That's right. I've been going over the four books and five classics again. I never used to like that stuff, but it really got me thinking. I should really treat my father with more respect. I've caused him a lot of trouble. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear you, of all people, say something like that. Hey! What's that supposed to mean? I also figure if I start buckling down more, maybe my father will turn a blind eye when I need him to. <laughs> There's the Mina I remember. There's the Dojong! Okay, I should probably put my formal layers back on. Hey, that reminds me. Remember Yun Song? He's come a long way. Thank you for taking the time to see me, Master. No need to thank me. I very much enjoy these periodic visits. Thank you, Mina, for escorting Huang here. Now then. I'll prepare a cup of the citron tea you're so fond of. With that, I leave you two to your conversation. Huang, I must thank you for all that you've done for Mina. It seems that second trip away from home has changed her for the better. I have you to thank for that. Actually, Actually the, the second, second journey might have done us both a world of good. Many suitors have visited us, asking for Mina's hand in marriage. As her father, I... <sighs> <clears throat> well... We haven't time for that today. Please, tell me more about what troubles you. Thank you. I wanted to talk to you about the Sword of Salvation, Soul Edge. Wang's mind reeled as he thought back on his second journey. Much of the information he risked his life to gather centered around one sword. Those seeking longevity call it the key to eternal youth. Those craving wealth know it as the treasure of kings, and to those defending their homeland, it is the Sword of Salvation. The veracity of this information, however, is unclear. What are you suggesting, Wong? No, say no more. Master, do you think the Soul Edge might actually be the Sword of Salvation? See what has you so troubled. You are aware of the power struggle between Easterners and Westerners, yes? I am. Rumors of the Sword of Salvation spread among the Westerners, but Easterners have rejected it. Indeed. Many Westerners are fervently searching for Solage as we speak. They were the ones who suggested His Majesty search for it. And I was among those tasked with seeking it out. We of the Song Dojong have chosen not to take sides, allowing us to remain independent and unaffected by such political squabbles. But given that my friend and your compatriot Yi Sun Xin is an Easterner, we may soon find ourselves embroiled in this dangerous struggle. No doubt my misgivings about the Sword of Salvation will draw attention as well. The fighting has only worsened in recent years. Chong Chol, the leader of the Westerners, would purge all in his way if given the chance. <sighs> this is no time to start a civil war. 
You have always been selfless, keen to serve others. But now is not the time to throw caution to the wind. But we can't let this conflict consume our homeland. I, I have to... Huang, you must learn to do what's best for yourself. If Mina is capable of such change, then so are you. <sighs> I'm sorry to put you through this, Mina. The citron tea's gotten cold. I brought Father some, but maybe I'll just drink this one myself. Forgive me, Wong. I couldn't help but overhear. It's okay. Perhaps I do need to change. Mm. Well, I think you'll be fine either way. But if you ask me, you shouldn't change to fit someone else's idea of you. Hmm. I mean, people change if and when they feel it's necessary. That's the one thing I didn't learn from you. Mina, I... Oh, here! I brought some Yankwa. Try some! Thanks. It's sweet. Very soft. <laughs> I know, right? I made them myself. All that talk of Westerners got me thinking. Do you know anything about the Society of Salvation? No, I can't say that I do. When a Westerner named Juan Gabok tried to sweet-talk me, he mentioned something about knowing how to make full use of the Soul Edge. Juan Gabok told Mina that the Society of Salvation formed in just the past year. It's comprised primarily of young Westerners. It seems the Society possesses jewels connected to the Sword of Salvation. Rumor has it, a medium channels the jewel's power to aid followers in their quest for the sword. For what purposes the society wields this power, or how they intend to use the sword of salvation, remains a mystery to those outside their ranks. Juan <sighs> Kabak, huh? Sometimes I forget Nina isn't a child anymore. Men are courting her now. Hmm. That Society of Salvation you mentioned sounds a lot like a group called the Qualifiers I ran into once. They were undone by their own nefarious ways, but the Society's plans are yet in motion. <sighs> Who's there? You're Song Gyeong Huang, aren't you? I am called Oct. Pleasure to meet you. What is a child like you doing out alone at this hour? Worried about me, are you? <laughs> That's cute. One week from today, the Society of Salvation will gather in the Royal Capital. A national hero like you would be more than welcome to attend. Is this some sort of trap? Probably worth a look, even if it is. So, so this, this is, is what, what a gathering, gathering looks like. like. A, crowd a crowd this, this big, big should keep me hidden. Look! It's Lord Gabok! Shh! He's about to speak! Beloved compatriots of the Society of Salvation, thank you for meeting in such troubling times. Rest assured that we Westerners and the society at large remain undaunted. For the Sword of Salvation would ensure we emerge from this crisis 
victorious. So that's one Gabak. He doesn't act like a typical government official. And to that end, we have a very special guest. Someone you all know well. I am, of course, speaking of the hero who traveled the world and back twice in search of Soul Edge. Wong Song Kyong! What? what? It seems the young warrior is hiding. Perhaps he doesn't do well in front of crowds. Fear not. Our medium will divine his location with these jewels. A task far simpler than finding the Sword of Salvation. <laughs> That's the child I saw earlier. What's going on here? There you are. I have you. What is this? Behold, a simple feat. Here you are standing before us. However... Roaring skies, trembling soil, wailing souls on this mortal coil, manifest and come to my aid! <laughs> Not standing anymore, are you? Pleasure to meet you, Huang Song Yong. I am Gabak, Sword of Cursed Flames. But soon you'll have no need to remember that. Curse you. What have you done to these people? <laughs> I've used the fragments of Soul Edge to absorb their souls. Just as you predicted, that sword houses an incredible evil. I'm going to put a stop to you. You're too late. But don't worry, I need you alive. <laughs> You're going to murder high-ranking members of the Westerner faction. Then we'll blame the Easterners, and everyone will be purged. Heroes, officials, the military, all who stand in our way. You're insane if you think I'd do that. Oh, you will do it. Once the seed of evil I've planted in you blooms, you'll become my own personal assassin. <laughs> What's happening? I'm losing control. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. I'll have you kill that arrogant girl as well. I couldn't eat for a week after the blow she dealt me. Me? Nah. Yes, that's her. She dared to deceive me, you see. She hasn't changed after all. Well, if I have to change, then I'm doing it on my own terms! Hmm. Turned his blade on himself, did he? Well, heroes certainly know how to die in style, don't they? Now, to reduce this place to ashes and make our escape.
It's only natural you still ache. After three months of healing, you still haven't fully recovered. Three months? Your wounds were nearly fatal. It's a miracle you've recovered this quickly. Thanks go to your parents for giving you such a strong constitution. But now is not the time for rest. You must learn to master talismans and the basics of Taoist magic. Master... spells? Correct. You'll be contending with otherworldly entities like Gabok. Using ordinary techniques will only end in your defeat. Do you know him? Gabok? Of course. He brings our clan great shame and must be stopped at all costs. We share a common goal, you and I. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wan Su Hyun, former secret royal inspector. Follow me. I am unable to leave the country. You will travel the world in my stead, in search of the Soul Edge fragments. It is your duty, as it was you who brought part of Soul Edge to this land. Su Hyun regaled Huang with tales of exploits, Taoist methodology, and talismans. He learned that Soul Edge is a cursed blade. Often called the Sword of Destruction, it feeds on the souls of men. Now shattered, its fragments were scattered the world over. What few Huang recovered fell back into Gabok's hands. Gabok intended to plunge Korea into chaos using the power of the fragments then gather as many souls as he could to complete Soul Edge. I see. I had no idea I brought such calamity to our land. You're not to blame. The fragments are practically powerless on their own, but the Society of Salvation knows how to make proper use of Soul Edge. That said, the deeds accomplished on your journey were actually a great help to me. They were? Indeed. One of the travelers you helped is a most valuable ally of mine. Perhaps you don't remember? After months of rigorous training, Su Hyun declares Huang's preparation complete. But the elderly monk took note of one last obstacle. The seed of evil planted in Huang's body. Should he come in contact with an evil aura strong enough, the seed would consume him. The key to this final hurdle is the Mirror of Evil's Bane, found here in the ruins of Motian Pass. It is one of many reasons I am duty-bound to this land. You should, under the right conditions, be able to make use of its purifying power. So that's why you've been protecting these ruins. Indeed. They must never fall into the hands of Gabok and his ilk. At any rate, I only know what I've been told of the mirror, so I do not know precisely how it works. Still, if you gather enough fragments, you should be able to purge the evil from your body. However, you do not yet have the power to rid yourself of the seed. Here, take this talisman. What is it? It is a talisman of iron will. It drains some of your life to afford you immense strength for a short time. Evil can do you no harm while it is active. The stronger the adept, the more life it drains. If Gabok discovers this, I'm afraid you won't be able to defeat him. Fortunately for you, he thinks you are dead. It is for this reason that you must now fight as a faceless, nameless warrior. did indeed die back then. The man known as Huang Sung Young is gone. Does this trouble you? No. I'm more focused than ever on the task at hand. My only concern is worrying those at the Song Dojang. All the more reason to gather the Soul Edge fragments as quickly as possible. Indeed. An ally of mine dwells where you are headed. Seek their aid should you need it. 
Thank you, Suhyun. I'm off. This is the place. Oh, you look like a traveler. We've got everything you might need. Drinks, provisions, souvenirs, the works. These, These merchants, merchants have a secret, secret phrase, phrase I learned on my previous, on my previous journey. journey. Has the Silver Maiden returned from the valley? She hunted a rare beast not long ago. Care to take a closer look? Yeah, I do. Down the stairs in the back. Think that Fiegel Sestimus would hide one of their temples underneath a quiet town like this. It's not as big as the last one, but to build a place this size underground. It's leading me further in. no doubt. Hmm? That, that burning, burning smell. smell. Is that, that smoke? smoke? Intruders! Of all heretics to set fire to the temple! Of all? Is, Is that, that yet, yet another, another group? Ha! I will cut you down! Uh-oh. I thought my diversion would work, but it seems not all of you are fools. So it was you who lit that fire. Didn't you think of the danger to those in the town above? I've no obligation to explain my actions to you. That fragment of Soul Edge is mine. Cook you dinner to make up for it. 
Sounds fun, but let me think about it. First things first. Indeed. Let's cut our way free. Lord Wilhelm, Sir Huang, that was a beautiful diversion. Thanks to you, we were able to learn a great deal about their temple. We'd greatly appreciate it if you could assist us like this again. No, thank you. That information you gave me has been a lifesaver. I never thought I would be addressed by name this far from home. Su Hyun has long been an ally of ours. Rest assured, your secret is safe. You'll continue to work on a cure and gather information on Lord Gro, then? Of course. We're keeping Lord Dion and Lady Natalie of the Twelve abreast of the situation as well. Lord Dion will soon be joining our chapter here. Would you care to meet him, Sir Huang? You would let someone of my stature meet a high-ranking member so easily? Of course. You've proven most helpful to the Aval organization. And how is that? I'm sure Lord Dion would gladly answer that question. Understood. Once I finish my investigation, I'll make my way back. Do you really intend to go to Austrinsburg? It is suicide to head there alone right now. I do. I need to examine the traces of the catastrophe that Soul Edge brought to this world. And you would do well to stop by Wolf Crone on your way. With a letter from me, you will be shown a royal welcome at the palace. Thanks for the offer, but I don't want to impose. Speaking of which, that Google hook, was it? It was great. You're a pretty good cook. I'm glad you liked it, and that you have a sweet tooth. Yeah, Mina always... Err, uh, that... It is thanks to a friend. Hmm? Who is this friend? I won't pry if you don't wish to tell, but I am curious. It's hard to explain. She's my master's daughter, and, well... How do I really feel about Mina? She's, She's like, like a, a sister, sister to me. But is that all? Ah, uh, she must be very important to you. All the more reason not to die. Yeah. Thanks for the warning. I sure hope Mina's safe. Strinesburg Castle. I must be close. <sighs> this evil aura is overwhelming. If I venture any closer, it may trigger the seed of evil inside me. Who's there? Show yourself. My name is Siegfried Stauffen. Once I... Uh, never mind. Uh, there's no time for introductions. If you're making for Ostreinsberg Castle, I have a favor to ask. That, that giant, giant sword, sword is back. He must, he must be, be one skilled fighter. fighter. If it's important, I'll hear you out. Thank you. There are people held prisoner inside the castle. I want you to save them. Take this map. It shows a secret passage into the underground dungeon. I'll believe you. What are you going to do? I need to go. Somewhere far away. 
I won't inquire further. I have no choice but to use a talisman of iron will. I have to hurry before the talisman takes its toll. Stay quiet and move quickly. Follow the right corridor until you see a hole leading out. You have our thanks! You two, hurry and escape. I can't. They tortured me. I, I can't move my legs. Those brutal monsters. Here, grab onto my back. That's enough of that now. What do you think you're doing with the father? So, you're the wicked fiend who tortured and imprisoned these people. I recognize him. We fought once long ago. To think he was one of the cursed sword's thralls. Let me ask, what are you planning to do with them? We're refining their spirits. We need a great number of special souls if we are to resurrect our king. Sadly, souls never seem to ripen enough naturally for our purposes. That's why we're applying a little bit of pressure. Hatred, pain, pleasure, hunger, and so on. Which trials will produce the most scrumptious souls? Alas, we've still not found an answer. That is why we cannot have our subjects escaping. You certainly like to talk about your vile misdeeds, you twisted snake. Vile? I treat them with more courtesy than they'd get from pillaging mercenaries or pathetic mindless malfested. But I doubt you will ever understand. Not only your skill, 
but also that delightful darkness lurking in your heart. Darkness lurking in my heart? Everyone has a great darkness inside them, and sometimes it wears a mask of justice. However, people like you are incapable of noticing it on your own. Fortunately, our king can open that shadowy door for you. This king you speak of, is he Soul Edge's new bearer? The Azure Knight was once defeated and once reborn. Did you not meet him yourself mere hours ago? I, I met, met this Azure Knight? Knight? He couldn't mean that man. Our king is a bit of a capricious sort. He sometimes leaves to wander and roam. Soon that naughty habit will be rightfully repressed. It's a mere passive fit, after all. Now, enough idle chatter. You are the victor, so you may take your prize. <laughs> this castle is a vile den of Malfested. I would recommend you hurry out. You would do well to protect those who have already fled. Otherwise, they may just be hunted down by those mindless malfested roaming about. <sighs> you dirty. <laughs> we'll happily await your return, great hero of justice, Wong Songyong. <laughs> <laughs>